Toby is a tram engine. He has cow catchers and side plates and doesn't look like a steam engine at all. He takes freight cars from farms and villages to the main line and is cheerful to everyone he meets. He has a coach called Henrietta who has seen better days. It's not fair at all, she grumbles, remembering that she used to be full and nine cars would rattle behind her. Now there are only three or four, for the farms and factories send their goods mostly by truck. Toby is always careful. The cars, buses, and trucks often have accidents. Toby hasn't had an accident for years, but the buses are crowded and Henrietta is empty. A lady and a stout gentleman stood on Toby's platform. He was, of course, Sir Topham Hatt, but Toby didn't know this yet. Come on, cried the children. Do look at this engine. That's a tram engine, said Sir Topham Hatt. Is it electric? asked Bridget. Whoosh, hissed Toby. But trams are electric, aren't they? They are mostly, but this is a steam tram. May we go in it, please? Stop, said Sir Topham Hatt to the conductor. They all scrambled into Henrietta. Hip, hip, hooray, chanted Henrietta. But Toby didn't sing. Electric indeed, electric indeed, he snorted. He was proud of being a steam train. What is your name, asked Sir Topham Hatt. Toby, sir. Thank you, Toby, for a very nice ride. Thank you, sir, said Toby. He felt better now. This gentleman, he thought, is a gentleman who knows how to speak to engines. The children came every day for two weeks. Sometimes they rode with the conductor, sometimes in empty cars. On the last day of all, the driver invited them into his cab. All were sorry when they had to go away. And Sir Topham Hatt and his family thanked everyone. Come again soon, replied Toby. And they waved till Toby was out of sight. The months passed. Toby had few cars and fewer passengers. Our last day, Toby, said his driver one morning. The manager says we must close tomorrow. That day, everyone wanted the chance of a last ride. The passengers joked and sang, but Toby and his driver wished they wouldn't. Goodbye, Toby, said the passengers afterwards. We're sorry your line is closing down. So am I, said Toby. Nobody wants me, Toby thought, and went unhappily to sleep. Next morning, the shed was flung open, and old Toby woke with a start to see his driver waving a piece of paper at him. Wake up, Toby, he shouted excitedly. The mail has just arrived, and there is a letter for us from the stout gentleman. Maybe it's good news. 